In this problem, the estimated area of a playground is 4 times 10 to the 5th square yards. So I'll write that down. 4, point, oh, sorry, four times 10 to the 5th square yards. You can write square yards like this, little yd with a square sign. And then um, the second area of the playground is estimated to be 2.5 times 10 to the 3rd square yards. And what do they want to know? Well, they want to know in part A, how many times greater is a larger playground than the smaller one? Well, we could write these out in a standard form to compare them, right? We could write that this is a 4 times 10 to the 5th is a 4 with 5 zeros, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's 400,000 square yards, okay? And then down here, what can we do? Well, we can look at this. Multiply by 10 to the 3rd, that moves our decimal 3 times to the right. So that'd be 2,500 square yards, a much smaller number. But think about logically that this number, because it's being multiplied by 10 to the third versus 10 to the fifth over here, when you multiply by 10 to the fifth, you're guaranteed to make a larger number in scientific notation than multiplying anything in scientific notation by 10 to the third, because multiplying by 10 has more of an impact than multiplying by any of the first factor values here. These first factor values have to be between 1 and 10. So it's the power or the exponent that matters the most. Now we divide 400,000 by 2,500, but I think you'll find that it's very easy to do this in scientific notation. So I would leave the numbers in this form right here and set up the division. 4 times 10 to the 5th square yards, right, divided by 2.5 times 10 to the 3rd square yards, okay. Well, the yards cancel out. You know, anything divided by itself is 1. 10 to the 5th divided by 10 to the 3rd, subtract the exponents, that's 10 to the 2nd. And 4 over 2.5, what's that? Well, think of this in terms of equivalent fractions. If you double 4 and get 8 and double 2.5, you get 5. So 8 over 5, I think of that as 8 and 1, uh, 8 1 fifths, right? So what is 5 fifths? Well, 5 fifths would be 1. We have 8 fifths, and every fifth is 0.2. So you have 1 and... 0.6, right? Or 1 and 3 fifths. So this ends up equaling 1.6 times 10 to the second. And that would be your answer. It's about 160 times larger. So, so you go back to this here. How many square feet is each playground? Well, we have to convert the square yards to square feet. And what we need to know is how many square feet are in a square yard. Well, what, one thing we should know is that one yard has three feet. Those are equivalent. Well, if you square the yard, right, that would be one yard squared, right, you would also square the feet. So three feet squared. So that means you have, when you square things in parentheses, you square everything. I square the three and the feet. So this would be nine, or three squared, feet squared. And that would be the same as one squared, which is still one yard squared. So one square yard actually has nine square feet in it. This makes a lot of sense if you were to draw a square. That's a yard square. That means the height, oops, the height is one yard and the width is one yard. So you have a yard square where each dimension is one yard, right? And every yard is one foot, uh, three feet, excuse me. So that means this is really a three foot by three foot square. So what's that area? What does that actually take up? Well, one square yard is the same as having the area of three by three or nine square feet. And if that's, not, if that's still not working for you, you can even draw a grid of this, right? If you think about what this square looks like, we have one, two, three feet across and three feet down. In total, that makes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine square feet. This is the ratio that you want to work with. Every one square yard, you can write it this way, has nine square feet. So in this case, we're given these large amount of yards, right? If I had two yards, that would be 18 square feet. Three yards, multiply nine by three, and get 27. And really, all you have to do is then multiply the amount of yards you have by nine here to get the square feet. So in our case, we have these two numbers. We have four times 10 to the fifth, and we're gonna multiply that by nine. So what's four times nine? Well, that's 36 times 10 to the fifth, that's still not in scientific notation, 
36, we take 36 and we divide it by 10. And to undo that, we multiply 10 by the fifth by 10. We don't want to change the value of the number. We divide and multiply by 10. So our first answer would be 3.6 times 10 to the sixth, because we have five tens here, one more, that's six altogether. And the second equation, expression they gave us, is 2.5 times 10 to the third. Okay, well, again, multiply this by 9. What happens? Well, 9 times 2 is 18. 9 times a half is 4.5, so we add those two together. And still times 10 to the third. And then we get 22.5 times 10 to the third. It's not in scientific notation. Take this number, divide it by 10. Right, so 22.5 divided by 10, and then balance that out by multiplying this by 10. And what happens? Well, we get 2.25 times 10 to the fourth, and that's in square feet. These are both in square feet. All right, hope this helped.